Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the cutest keyboard I own and that is the Apple Maker X Leobog K81 in the pink bunny theme. Now this is a 75% wired and wireless mechanical keyboard that starts at a price point of $119 and can be found in a linear or tactile variant with plenty of different color schemes as well. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself covered in a dust cover and it does have some wrapping on that acrylic case so you don't have any fingerprints or any cracking or anything like that and you also get a box that contains a color matched cable unfortunately it is a coiled cable which you know I'm not a big fan of out of the box but it also comes with a key cap and switch puller and some switches as well that aren't necessarily the ones these come with so I'm not too sure why they're included but they're there I guess as a replacement if just in case one of your switches breaks. With that being said this is a polycarbonate plate with case foam, plate foam and PE foam pre-installed with stabilizers and this is gasket mounted as well and you can actually see the gaskets themselves through the acrylic keyboard case. Now the foam they are using for the gaskets isn't the greatest as it's not going to give you that much flex but the benefit of using a gasket mounted keyboard is there are no pressure points when typing so you have an even typing experience overall. The keyboard design and layout overall looks very cute and the keycaps themselves are sort of like half pudding keycap where the top part of it isn't pudding but the bottom is. With that being said, you also get this super cute design on the backspace enter key, some of the modifier keys, and especially the spacebar. With the font of the keycaps definitely being more towards the cutesy slash bubbly side of things, which I know some people definitely will not like at all, but I feel like it fits with the theme and aesthetic that this keyboard is trying to go for. The switches that I have are the tactiles and they are lightly factory lubed from the box, there is some slight ticking to them, but because of that PE foam pre-installed, you don't really hear it. And the stabilizers themselves are very nicely lubed, and I had no ticking whatsoever on any of my stabilizers, which is great. The knob is also color matched to the keyboard itself, which I definitely really like. Now, when it comes to the downsides, I'd say, is the fact that this is a north-facing keyboard, which means you cannot use Cherry Profile keycaps if you are thinking about swapping out the keycaps in the future. I do think another downside is the fact that the back of the keyboard doesn't really have any RGB shine through so you're not getting any illumination throughout the whole keyboard and it is just the top part of the keyboard which in my opinion is a very big missed opportunity especially because you're using a clear case. Now whether or not you care about that is definitely up to you but definitely still something to keep in mind. Here's a quick sound test of how it sounds. So overall when it comes to the sound side of things it definitely sounds really deep, thlocky and poppy and that is definitely because of that PE foam. But the thing is when you have PE foam installed it makes pretty much all of your keyboards sound the same and the keyboard itself does not have a unique sound signature to it. So that is kind of the issue I'm running into with this one. This keyboard sounds very similar to the keyboard I reviewed last week but they are totally different. The only thing that they had in common was that PE foam. Other than that, while this keyboard does have some minor flaws like I mentioned earlier, which were the north facing interference issue and the not so great RGB diffusion, the stock typing performance and the basics side of things, it nails all of it and you're mainly going to be buying this keyboard for the aesthetic itself. So if this is something right up your alley, Definitely give it a shot as I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought about the Apple Maker X Leobog K81 
in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.